HP's got a new hybrid that's built for tough situations. I'm Dan Ackerman, and this is the HP Elite X2. It starts off as an 11.6 inch Windows 8 tablet. You can get it with a 1366 by 768 resolution or an upgraded 1920 by 1080 model. And like a lot of other super uh, thin systems that we're going to see in 2015, it runs Intel's new Core M processor as part of the new Broadwell family. And while it's not quite as uh, fast or powerful as your standard Core i3 or Core i5, um, it's meant to run in systems that are very thin, very light, and in this case, like many of them, run fanlessly, uh, which is great for keeping things quiet and cool. Uh, this is a lot more rugged than a lot of other hybrids because it's meant for commercial purposes. Uh, they test it to some uh, mil-spec standards and it's got things like a TPM chip and Intel's vPro technology and a smart card slot uh, built into one of the keyboard bases. And these are all things that your IT department may require even if you as an end user are, are generally not aware of them. The tablet can plug into several accessories, including two different uh, keyboards. One is a traditional sort of clamshell, uh, bigger tablet keyboard uh, that has um, some decent ports and connections on it. The other one is a thinner, more surface-like uh, travel keyboard. There's even a, a Y-Gig wireless docking station. That looks like a little black uh, cube that makes it easy to uh, connect to your bigger uh, desktop monitor and mouse and keyboard. The X2 is going to start at $899 uh, in the U.S. when it's available in late January. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that's the HP Elite X2.